Let me give you some more mind reading examples. So I'm thinking of a number. Um, I'm going to. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking of a number. I'm going to take away four, and then I'm going to multiply by five, and then I'm going to divide by two, and it gives me fifteen. What number was I thinking of? So here, the way to do this is I'm thinking of a number, and I'm I'm going to take away four. And then I need to know what this is first before I multiply by five. So that's that's why we we need the brackets here, okay? And then and then we divide it by two, okay? We should we should we need to know this first here. So really we we should need brackets. But because of this line here, this divide line here is saying everything above it. That's why we don't need these uh, these two line these two brackets here. So let me start again. I'm I'm thinking of a number. I'm going to take away 4, okay, and then I'm going to multiply by 5, and then I'm going to divide it by 2. So it should be like this, okay, and it, it equals 15. So now it's just a matter of solving this. Um, so so let, let's multiply both sides by 2, so this would be 30, this would be 5 bracket x minus this, and then multiply this out. 5 times x would be 5x, and then 5 times 4 would be uh, 20, and then um, and then this would be 30. Now add add 20 to both sides, uh, and now divide both sides by um, by by 5. So x equals 10. So the number I was thinking of was 10. Um, so so when you're here. The, I'm, I'm thinking of a number, I'm going to take away 4, and you need to know this first, and then you multiply by 5, and then you divide it by, um, by, by 2. Um, that, that's why you need brackets at this point here. Uh, well, you, you just got to build up your experience, then you'd, you would understand. So here, let, let, let me give you another example. Uh, I'm thinking of a number, okay. Um, I'm going to um, add 2. And then I'm going to add 4, and then I'm going to times by 2, and then I'm going to divide it by 7, and it gives me 4. What number was I thinking of? So here, I'm thinking of a number, I'm going to add 2, and then I'm going to add 4, and I, I need to know all this now, all this first, uh, before I times by, by the next step, by 2. So, so let's start again. I'm thinking of a number, I'm going to add 2, and then I'm going to add 4, and then I, I times by 2, because I need to know everything, I need to know the bubble first before I times by 2. And then, final step, I need to know everything, everything above this divide, but basically I need to know everything, and then divide by 7. That equals 4. Okay, so it should be like this. Now, if you look at this here, elephant, giraffe, giraffe, you can merge the two giraffes together. So basically, it's the same as this, um, x plus 6 bracket, just to tidy up. Because um, when you're thinking of a number, if you add 2 and then add 4, that's the same as you saying, I'm thinking of a number, and then I'm going to add 6. Because adding 2 and then adding 4 is the same as adding 6. Okay? So, um, well, it's just for us tidying up, because we can see uh, single numbers on their own are like one entity. You, you can merge them. So let's, let's just tidy up now. Um, so, so now times both sides by, uh, by 7, so that would be 28 here. This would be what's left is on whatever's on top. Okay, now uh, multiply this out. This would be 2x. Uh, this would be 12 plus 12 equals, uh, equals 28. Now take away 12 from both sides, so this would be, uh, 16, uh, this will be 2x, divide both sides by 2, so the x equals um, 8. Okay, so uh, yeah, so x equals 8. So let's, let's go back to here. So when you're here, I'm thinking of a number, I'm going to add 2, I'm going to add 4, and then I'm going to multiply by 2, uh, and then divide it by 7. So yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's it. Yeah.